Hey guys, this is what we're dealing with today. John Deere 318E skid steer. The issue we were having was is the starter went out. And when the starter went out, the rams were all the way down. And so we could not start the machine to lift the rams up. And it was locked in hydraulic mode, so we couldn't, no matter what we did, we had to replace the starter with the rams down and it definitely was a job this one is even a little more tricky this one's got cab heat and ac so jack here did most of the work i'll let him tell you what the secrets are to replacing the starter on a john deere 318e hey guys the biggest secret to replacing the starter on a 318e get somebody else to do it because it's a bear but if you don't have that option First thing you want to do is you want to take the alternator off right here, bolt here, bolt underneath it, loosen your belt, take that off, undo your wiring. And then it tells you in the book that you don't have to undo these ports from the air conditioning compressor, but I found that it's better just to undo them, uh, drain your, or evacuate your system, and then take those off and take the air conditioning compressor also clear out now once again as jay was telling you we had these arms down here and it made it really tough to get back into that starter now if you get a shot here back in where that starter sits it's right that silver with the red wiring harness on the top and the first thing to do is before you go any further is to take the battery cable off your positive battery cable off so you're not shooting sparks everywhere in fact you should have done that before you took your alternator off but the this is the case of the starter as you see it sits in like this top bottom bolt and it sits kind of like that at that angle you can get this top bolt by lifting the cab all the way up and coming in from the from the front from the cab and take this out we used a 19 millimeter stubby wrench and you can get about a 10 percent turn on each one so you got to be patient to get it out then the bottom bolt well the problem with the bottom bolt is you can't see it there's no way you can get your head anywhere where you can see it so you got to guess now if you have a helper, you can have him come in from the front and he can feel that with his left hand. He'll be able to feel the bolt and can he, he can help you guide your extension onto that bolt. Now I used a 10 inch extension with a three quarter wobbly socket and uh, finally got it in there and got it on and it was tight, but we were we had to put a cheater pipe on the end of our ratchet, but we finally got it broke loose. Now, actually, before we did that, when we had so much trouble, we took the case off the starter, and we took the armature out, which gave us a little more room down here to get the starter out. So that relieved a lot of tension there. When we went to put the new starter back in, of course, you can't do that. So you've just got to feel back up in there and get that bolt in there. And there is a little bit of play on the starter. So if you put your top bolt in first and snug it up a little, leave it just loose enough to barely wiggle that starter back and forth in the hole, then you can adjust that to where your bolt will go in. Then once you have your bolt in, tighten those up, put all your wiring back onto the starter, Reinstall your air conditioning compressor, your alternator, and you're off and driving. But it's a pain. And as I said, if you have any chance to have somebody else do it, suit them up. Not something you want to be doing. And if you can, do it inside somewhere where you're not outdoors. That's always the worst. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.